Good morning, saints. Please stand for prayer. Today is the feast of St. Jerome. St. Jerome, please pray for all of us, and especially for those celebrating a birthday today. There are no student birthdays today. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, you commissioned your priest, St. Jerome, to compile all of your scripture and to translate it into one universal language for the whole church to use. Give us the same love for your word that he had. Heavenly Father, we praise you and give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Keep us accordant with truth and active in charity, as exemplified by our patron, St. Thomas Aquinas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me as we honor our flag and country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, saints. Good afternoon, saints. Welcome back to the Halo Midday Show. Today is Wednesday, September 30th. Let's get straight to sports with Joey. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Halo Sports. Let's get things started with volleyball. Three matchups went down last week for your girls varsity against Blue Valley West, Bishop Miege, and St. James Academy. The Saints fell to Blue Valley West in two close sets. The first was lost by five points, and the second one only by two. The Saints took down Miege, winning both sets by six and two points respectively. 35 kills came out of that match. Finally, the Saints rallied against St. James in five nail-biting sets, each only winning or losing by two points. Additionally, after losing to St. James twice earlier this season, your freshman A volleyball team defeated the Thunder in just two sets, 25-16 and 25-14. It was a great team win filled with some amazing plays. Awesome job, girls. They're now 13-2 and on the season. Next up is football. The Saints were on the road this week with their first away game against the Raytown Blue Jays. Tank Young did not suit up because of an ankle injury last week, so Sean Carroll had to take his place as starting running back. With big shoes to fill, Sean scored a four-yard rushing touchdown and rushed for 120 yards. Evan Kammerer caught an incredible 46-yard touchdown. Will Gavin had an interception one play into the fourth quarter. Just as the game was winding down, Junior Dana Brooks intercepted a pass for the final touchdown and a pick six to put the game away. The Saints play Shawnee Mission Northwest this Friday. Tune in to watch the game live on STA Halo's YouTube channel. Finally, the Saints cross-country team traveled to Topeka to run against tough opponents that the Saints rarely see. The varsity boys lost 44-48 to Free State, but defeated four other strong programs. Tommy Hazen, Logan Seeger, and Ashton Higgerson had top 10 finishes. The varsity girls placed third, defeating three larger schools but falling to two 6A teams. Ellie Ward, Morgan Chaput, Alexis Hudden, and Kate Marshall had top 20 finishes. Zach Meyer won the JV boys race, and the JV boys placed a close second. The JV girls and C-team boys won yet again. The JV girls were led by Mary Whiteside, placing third, and the C-team boys were led by a 1-2-3 finish from Alex Waldy, Michael Payne, and Charlie Heap. Despite the meet being so far away, the Saints were very happy and surprised to see President Fallon was there to cheer us on. Thank you for your support, Dr. Fallon. That's all we have today on Halo Sports. We'll see you next time with more news about your Saints sporting events. From Mrs. Majors, juniors and seniors, be sure to check your email and Naviance for the upcoming college visits, events, and important deadlines. This week, the following colleges will be here on Thursday and Friday. George Washington University, Marquette University, Benedictine College, Kansas City Art Institute, Davidson College, Grand Canyon University. Register and Naviance to attend. Mrs. Davis has AirPods that were turned in. You must be able to identify how they are named and send a signal to them. Thanks to the student who turned them in and a reminder to everyone to please turn in any found items to the athletic office. Your fellow students are extremely grateful to recover their lost items. Attention seniors, Eucharistic Minister Training has been postponed. We will not have Eucharistic Minister Training Friday during STA. Please stay tuned for the rescheduled time. 
Aquinas is participating in suicide awareness prevention this week. We all mask our feelings sometimes, but if you are hiding depression or even suicidal thoughts, know that there is someone you can talk to. Find a trusted adult or call the suicide hotline at 800-273-8255. There is help. Do you still want to join Teens for Life, but you couldn't come to our kickoff meeting? Good news, you still can. You can sign up by seeing Mr. Best during 6th hour lunch or anytime during school in room 102. You will need $5 to join. Membership comes with a free pro-life computer sticker and information about upcoming events. Please join this awesome club and help us stand up for life. Do you want to stand up for life? Do you want free donuts? Come join Teens for Life at First Saturdays. We will meet up at Nativity at 8.15 a.m. Mass, and then we will pray at Planned Parenthood at 9 a.m. Join us for free donuts. Please come pray with us and fight for life. Scholars' Bowl practices will take place on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, beginning at 3.15 in room 129. Anyone who is interested is always welcome to stop by, practice, and check out Scholars' Bowl. Today, Saint of the Day is Saint Jerome. Jerome was an influential Christian in the late 4th and early 5th centuries. Of all things that made Jerome famous, nothing was so legendary as his translation of the Bible. Jerome spent his entire life translating the scriptures from Hebrew, Greek, and Old Latin into then modern Latin. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the average speed of Heinz ketchup exiting the bottle is 0 .028 miles per hour? Isn't that crazy? Thanks for watching the Midday Show. We'll be back tomorrow with more announcements. I'm Emma, and don't forget, we'll find a way to make today great.